Boy, I've been waiting for this day. I've been waiting for this What's day. Up? What's up, man? It's the realest day. It's my big homie, man. It's your man, DJ. He can tamper most connected DJ. Sitting there with my dude. I'm you know homie, what? Man. Before How I even doing? get started, before I even say your name, I'm going to just do like this. Yes, sir. Plies. A real, real good look, man. That's a good look that's right a, there, that's man. That's a big look. Hold up, man. Let, let's let's talk about when I first met you. Right. And I mean, I met you off the mixtape grind. And it was even new to me because I was meeting dudes here that was in the street that was like, dude, you got to know about this dude, Plies. Right. And then I get shot and you and I sit down and we talk about it. Uh-huh. And here we are, right around two years later. Yeah. Yeah, probably. We, about, had, yeah, we had our third years. album. Yeah. And I'm seeing you are the future of rap, man. How's it feel? It's a blessing, man. Eek, man, for me to, to, to come from where I come from, man, and continue to push forward. Um, not be perfect, man, but but right. understand um, the game that I'm a part of, bro. I try to position myself um, on a strategic level, should I say, to make sure I make more right moves than, than wrong ones. And for me, um, I approach it from that standpoint. I, I know I ain't perfect. I know a lot of times I'm going to make um, – they always say you smarter the second day. Right. So some of my decisions I've, I've made over the course of my life um, haven't been the best, but at the same time I think they help mold me to the person that I am now. Right. Man, and, and before I even get into the album, man, and, and when we first talked, you 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 were real big on, you learned a lot when you first started going into the meetings with Slip and Slide yeah. and Atlantic. That was a lot different from how you and your crew did, you know, the first mixtape right. grind and that sort of thing. What's the biggest thing you learned, like, over these past, and we'll, we'll just call it 18 to 20 months? The, the importance of, of knowledge and information, man. Um, for me, I think the biggest plus in my life um, has been going off to school on a football scholarship. Right and, and and really understanding what life was really about, like to be around other coaches that I probably would have never had a chance to to do if right. I just would have stayed in the streets. Um, and for me, the importance of diversifying yourself, man, I think that's the biggest thing that I've I've taken from my situation because at the end of the day, um, I understand how powerful um, information and knowledge really is. So right. for me, I think uh, my biggest plus, man, is 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 to understand what I endured um, through the few years I actually stayed in college and. Had my street thing going, um, and I think those two things help groom me into the person that I am right now. That allows me to know when I'm being BS or not. So I think that's probably the biggest, biggest two um, key components. I, I like to say to my situation. Right, and now we we right here. We we are right here. Yeah, we done did the mother two already. Yeah, we we, we done the mother two. We and and and, two. and don't, don't be clear. Be clear, I'm still walking in clubs right now, and oh, yeah, you are still, the club, and yeah, Friday, and, yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still heavy in the club right now. Yeah. So, you know, it ain't, it ain't like, you know, we was like, please give us something new, because right. we're not playing those. Nah. So, but we here now. We here. The realest. The realest, man. When you went in to make this joint, what was yeah. your first, what was your first thought? Um, Actually, I didn't go straight in just to make that album. Like, um, I, I never stopped recording. Um, Actually, I got, I got a, a situation to tomorrow, I think I jump back in the studio and work on some more material. But um, for me, I don't ever start recording. At the end of the day, I think uh, right. when I try to come up with my albums, um, I come up with a concept. First of all, the title that I want the album to be, and I try to find the twelve to sixteen records that I feel best tell that story to fit the concept of the album. So I got a lot of material laying around right now. Um, right. It just depends on the title of the next album. And I try to pick records that are, that are actually embody um, the name of that album. So I like talking to you because you, we, we maybe we just got a connection because we like short dudes or something. But <laughs> you know, speaking of the title of the album, I, the one What's thing up? that that is in common is the uh, word "real" is is somewhere in each title. Yeah. And how important is that to you? That's 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 huge for me, man. Because I think I think that's the biggest accomplishment for for a street cat um, that you can ever achieve. I think uh, being a dope boy that's that's kind of easy to become. Being right. A killer that's kind of easy to become. I think the highest accomplishment um, to a dude in the streets is is to be perceived or or, or to be actually called real is the, is the biggest accomplishment that any street cat can ever accomplish. So I always want to keep that tight. I think that's the biggest movement that ever exists in the streets is because right. real is the most important thing to, to, to any street dude. Okay. Exactly. And you've made some pretty big records that have pretty much been geared towards pretty much a lot of chicks. You know, mm-hmm. you got Shorty was a big record for right. you. Huge. Now, we, you know. Yeah, we got hypnotized. Huge. Now we had um, put it on you. Yeah. So do, do you feel like that after a while you're going to start getting the feedback of, oh, he's only making girl records or he I, keeps trying know, to make I'm records? Gonna you, I, I'm going to tell you, somebody somebody asked me this question uh, a few weeks ago, and it was crazy to me because I said, how do you stop making number one records? Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out, like, if I had a number one record in Shorty or another 
number two record in Hypnotize came back with another number one record in Busted, baby. A top five record with Please Excuse My Hands. I mean, how do you how do you how do you stop making? I thought that was the key, right? In this business, especially is to try to. You got some some cats that have been doing it for 10, 11 years who never had a number one record, right? Um, so for me to have a resume that I have at radio right now, I understand how blessed I am, but I I don't think I could. I don't think a goal of mine should stop be it, to stop making number one records. I think that'd be kind of crazy. I guess. See, that, that's why I'm sitting there asking the questions with the realist right here. My big homie, man. Hey, man. I, I looked at a lot of these titles right here, and and right. I, I'm, I know you don't got a lot of time. You got a full day, but it's one particular cut, and and the video is going around right now. Right. It's uh, family straight. Big record. Big record. Yeah. How? How? Just just give it. Give us the gist, man, of how big that record is to you. Um, for me, man, it's. it's it was the first time I had a chance in a long time to really break down my family structure and put it on one particular album. Right. I always used to take pieces of my family trials and tribulations and put it in my music, but this was the first time I actually took my whole entire family structure and put it on the record and just be basically telling you, like, the hook of the record is saying the last 10 years, my mom been working twice a day. Um, right. My grandma on the kidney machine, she didn't lost all her weight. My auntie got AIDS, she started to lose her faith. My brother back in prison, second time he'd gone away. My dad is still smoking crack. I can see it in his face. My little cousin, 16, pregnant from a dude that's 38, right. trying to stay on my son, make sure he's doing what his mama say. Before you take me, God, just help me get my family straight. So for me, I just feel like that's that record be best described not only who I am as a person, but the trials and tribulations that regardless of how much fame um, – you receive or how much your financial situation may have changed. Right. Um, I'm still a normal person at the end of the day, and I think my problems are the same problems that we all go through around this country. So that's why that record was so powerful to me. Hey, man, can't be mad at that. In the stores right now, man. And uh, let me get into this real quick. Um, right. Your whole Big record, big Gates uh, record situation. I know you got. I know you introduced my one brother, of your new brother, artists. Man. Yeah. And so what, what's the next What's the next plan for that? Um, Actually, that was the first artist on the Put It On Your Record, Chris J. He was okay. the first artist. My brother actually signed him. Um, why he was actually incarcerated. So um, to have that situation work for me, um, I was excited about that. I made a, I, I made a lot of records with, with a lot of other established artists. And to have this first record, um, my lead single, to be with an in-house artist and still be doing hella good on the charts right now, um, I think it was a big move for the company from a company aspect. Right. Um, we got another group that my brother signed, Unique Image, um, that you're going to have – Chris J single unique image single real real soon. I think probably we're gonna probably let the records go to the top of the year. The the the, the stations normally shut down in the Christmas, so everybody should be back. Yeah, like first, middle second, second third yeah, week of January. Second third week of January, so we'll be ready on deck with their singles. Hey man, <laughs> dude, you the realest dude. And oh, one thing I like to do too for what aspiring artists because you kind of did it your own way. And a lot yeah. of artists, you know, they 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 into this mixtape thing. They this and that and the other. They they going on MySpace real crazy. The way you did it, you kind of just came in. And you had your own lane, and right. you kind of been in that from from day one. Mm -hmm. Give me a piece of advice, man, that, that I could give to these aspiring artists out here. That you know, they look at plots like I could do what he doing. I just I'm I'm doing something wrong. I'm missing something. You gotta stay stay true to yourself. That's the first thing. Um, and, and 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 you can follow the trends of hip hop, and you're just gonna be in a long long line. I think it's a lot of people um, that's making the dope boy music. It's a lot of people um, that's making the gangster music. It's a lot of people. Um, that's making music that already exists. And I think right. it's so important for you to cre cre create your own situation. Um, and I think there's so many problems in the world, man, that people want to hear about. Right. Um, and I think anytime you can have enough courage to step outside of what you already seen done and then work before and create a whole new lane for yourself, um, I think that's the fastest way to get recognized, seen, and heard. I think anytime you're doing something that somebody else is already doing, um, they say anything in life that's not plentiful, um, if I said it right, um, is the things that keep the most value. So, um, if if someone can get, if someone could get hold um, to a particular product, and it's easy to 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 to, to get your hands on it, it don't hold that much value. I think anytime you create something that people have a hard time. Um, getting their hands on It's right. always going to be More work than that situation The homie Plies man The realest in stores Get your copy right now homie Pleasure That's how we do mind, it baby man.